I'm doing it again today. I'm gonna to be starting a brand new online business to make me as much money as possible in just seven days. And if you follow this channel, you probably know what kind of business I'm talking about, which is drop shipping. And the last time we made a challenge like this, we made over a thousand dollars. So my expectation for this one is really high. Now, obviously, the first step for us to get started with our challenge is to find a product for us to actually sell. And while I was scrolling through TikTok, I actually found two really good products that has a lot of potential. So while scrolling, the first product I found was this turmeric heads, which are basically skincare pads that helps with pimples uneven skin dark spot all that and that's why i call my eye because it's a cheap product that literally solves a huge insecurity for a lot of women and it's very simple to use the creative speaks for itself now product number two is this mini steam iron that people just use when they're traveling and i just think this is a perfect time to be selling this product just because we're in the summertime and people are traveling a lot and i feel like the reason why i really like this product is because i can actually relate to because i just recently got back from brazil and my number one problem during my trip was to have all my clothes wrinkled now if i had this product i wouldn't have that problem and it's perfect for traveling because it's very small it's compact it doesn't weigh anything now because we only have seven days to make as much money as possible we're gonna go for the steam iron just because the little skincare pads has a lot of competitors so that's our winning product now it's time to create our website if you haven't seen my video on how to create a branded dropshipping website for completely free definitely go check that out that's the only reason why i'm not gonna show it to you guys right here because it's literally what i did over there and this video would be too long so definitely go check that out all right guys i'm back it's been a couple of hours and now i'm here to show you guys the product page we have all right guys so this is what people are gonna see as soon as they land on our website i tried branding it as much as possible color um coordinating the website just so people can associate this screen to our brand as you guys can see i tried just you know editing the images just so it looks very clean and professional right here we have another picture just stating some more features of the product that people are probably gonna care about some before and after the wrinkle free in seconds and then just more product image as you scroll down we have a little description the price and the title i will probably change the title so we have a little description we have the option to choose the colors both green and the white one the add to cart button then scrolling down we have some more details of the product then just some more simple stuff it overall guys it looks very clean i have a little video here just showing how the product works then just some more um, information about the product some as seen on just so it has more credibility it gives more credibility right and then some more before and afters some testimonials and finally the reviews and for this challenge i will be using tiktok ads just because i feel like it's what you guys are also using just so it makes a little bit more relatable to you guys let me actually show you guys the creatives i found for this product look at this oh perfect <laughs> oh my god isn't it great? Chris! I know, it's my dream. <laughs> Amazon find you didn't know you needed. This mini steam iron heats up in seconds, has a constant steam, doesn't leak, and doesn't require an ironing board. It actually works really, really well. It even works on upholstered items. Then it folds up small, making it perfect for home or for travel. So right now what I'm going to do is basically just create an ABO campaign for each um, ad creative just to see which ones performs better. So I'm basically going to create an ABO campaign with three ad groups because I'm, you know, I'm testing three different creatives. And for each ad group, I'm only going to put one creative. I'm not going to turn these smart creative ads on just so I can see which one actually performs the best. As for the budget, I will do $25 for each ad set. So at the end of the day, that campaign will probably spend around $75. And I'm also going to create another CBO campaign, which is a little bit different because i'm going to change the um, budget on the campaign level not the ad group level that's the difference and for this cbo campaign i'm going to put the budget at a hundred dollars and only have one ad group and for day one that's our testing strategy so one cbo campaign and one abo campaign just so we know what creatives actually performs the best all right and i'll see you guys tomorrow good morning everybody i have some really good news it's literally the next day i just got home from the gym so excuse me let me try to focus we just got our first sale it's currently 9 14 a.m with only 16 people coming into our website we already got one sale which is crazy so so far so good i was actually really scared because i was looking at the metrics for the ad spend and the cost per click was really really high so i was like oh my god i'm gonna have to change the creatives the creatives are not doing good but at least we got a sale i'll keep you guys updated throughout the day and i'll check back when uh, we get more sales good morning guys it's actually day three of the challenge and i'm about to show you guys the results from last night 
nine. All right, now for the big review. Um, yesterday we made a total of one hundred and ninety-two dollars in total sales. We had a one point eighty-four percent conversion rate, which actually is a little bit more because, as you guys can see, we had a total of five orders and it only tracked around three right here. So our conversion rate was about two two point one, which is not bad for the testing and literally the first day of running the product. Our average order value was thirty-three fifty-nine, which is great. When we come to the ads manager right here, these are both the campaigns we launched yesterday so as you guys can see there was the abo and the cbo that i talked about the cbo only having one ad group and then on the abo let me just this there was three ad groups right at like midday or like at three o'clock actually turned both of these off these ad groups just because they weren't performing well the cost per click was a little bit higher than this was around two dollars but you know now it's showing as a dollar and 36 cents and then i only kept this one on because we did have a conversion and the cpc was actually pretty low so i kept that one on so what i did for the third day which is today i actually turned both of these off and then i took the cbo that was actually performing well and then i I duplicated them into four um, campaigns each one at a $50 budget why do I keep the budget so low because every time I get a conversion or I see that the campaign is performing well I actually bump the budget to 100 so um, we let TikTok know that we want uh, money a little bit more money spent on that campaign because it's actually performing well right so I turned both of these off I just turned them back on just to show you guys but I'm just gonna turn them off again now if we come to the spreadsheet from yesterday you guys can see that we did uh um, $192 in revenue. We actually spent $118 on ads. And then for as the supplier, we spent $68, leaving us with a total loss of $3.35, which I'm not mad about at all, just because I usually lose a lot more money on the first day of testing a product, which is totally normal. We need the pixel to get optimized first. So we're hoping to be profitable today because you know it's the second day and the pixel is a little bit more optimized, but we're just not there yet. So hopefully by the end of this challenge we can make some money with this product all right now that you guys are all caught up let me show you guys a little bit of what's going on on day number three as you guys can see it's midday it's around 2 52 p.m right now we have a total of six orders and 197 dollars in revenue so far so we did get one more order than yesterday as you guys can see right here if we go on to the analytics we are currently have a 2.63 ROAS which it is actually a little bit more just because they only tracked for conversions which I have no idea why it's been acting like this now let me show you guys the ads manager i'm gonna refresh it really quickly both of these campaigns has a over three row ads which is actually really really good um this one is almost a little bit unprofitable and this one of course it's unprofitable just because we didn't get any sales so right now i will turn this one off just because we have two really good ones performing well now you guys remember all of these campaigns started at a 50 dollar budget and you as you guys can see i bumped the budget to a hundred dollars as soon as we got two sales in each of the campaigns just so tiktok knows that we want to spend a little bit more money on both of these campaigns because obviously they're actually getting the right customers hey guys good morning it's finally day four of the challenge and i'm really excited to show you guys the results from yesterday all right now i'm really excited to show you guys the results from yesterday we actually got more sales than the day before which is great we got a total of 13 sales we made 473 dollars in total revenue and our conversion rate was a 2.3 31 but it was actually a little bit more than that um if we go right here to this calculator you guys can see that it was actually a 3.75 which is great for the second day of running ads and we spent a total of 206 dollars and 28 cents now from those campaigns that we published yesterday at 50 dollars each only two of them was actually performing well so i basically kept them on the whole night that's why we actually lost a little bit of our profit just because we didn't get sales overnight i mean we did get one actually but it was not profitable but I did keep them on just to get the pixel a little bit more optimized because they are actually profitable so there's no reason for me to turn them off as you guys can see these are both of them it just says day two because on the first day it was like the website creation and all of that but this was actually from day three so as you guys can see um, the CPA is around $14 and then for this one is around 16 we have a 2.32 ROAS for this one and then a two for this other one right here now the big review how much money did we actually make or 
or lose from yesterday's sales. We made uh, $473 in sales. We spent 206 on ads and 171 bucks on the supplier and $23 on fees, uh, Shopify fees. And we made a total of $72.54 in profit, which I mean, it's not bad because we're not, you know, losing money with this product anymore, but the profit margins are not good, right? And it kind of sucks because around 8 p.m. yesterday, we were actually up $110 in profit. So I was like, this is the, a really good second day of testing. But as you guys can see right here, the last sale was around 7.59 p.m. And after that, the ads was just spending, 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 and we didn't get a single sale. Now, as I mentioned, today is day four of the challenge. So again, August 22, it's currently 11.53 a.m. So almost noon. And I'm excited to show you guys the results for today. And we are doing a total of $353 so far. And it's literally 11 a.m. So uh, we're doing pretty good. We're almost beating uh, yesterday's sales. We got a total of 10 orders today, 4.21 ROAS, which is a little bit more just because it only tracked nine. So it's actually 4.67. Now, as for the ads, like I said, I basically just kept the campaigns that were performing well from yesterday on the whole night. We did lose a little bit of money, but that's okay because for today, I basically just copied those campaigns into another five CBOs, three of them $50 budget, and then both of these ones, four and five at $100 budget just to see what actually does better now as for the rest of the day i'm just gonna basically keep my eyes on all the campaigns and like i said every time these ones right here get one more sale or like three sales each i'm just gonna bump or just basically add more 50 dollars to the budget so it's gonna be at a hundred dollar per day if it gets to five sales i'm gonna just bump the budget to 200 and so on all right guys i messed up i wish this was me recording day six I and mean, like day five of running ads but today is actually august 28th and obviously the challenge is already over so i'm here just to show you guys the results from day five six and seven just because i didn't record any of those days and the reason for that it was because it was my birthday on that day so i just let the ads spin and i really took a lot of time into actually recording and keeping up with the ads so let's start where we actually left off which was august 22 um day three of running ads but day four of the challenge and we made a total of 870 dollars in revenue which is insane because um the day before that we had made only like 400 so we basically doubled the amount of revenue and we had 25 orders a 3.4 um conversion rate which is great um it was actually a little bit more it was a probably almost at four because it didn't track all 25 purchases now as for the ads you guys didn't even miss much because i just kept doing what i showed you guys which is basically publishing new cbo campaigns at a 50 dollar budget and basically just bumping that up every couple sales now as you guys can see on my ads manager on the 22 we spent around 402 dollars in ads which was quite a lot so our profit margins wasn't that great now let me show you guys what we actually made that day so we had 870 dollars in revenue 402 dollars in ad spent and 296 dollars in the cost of the supplier of the product and then 42 dollars in the fee shopify fees leaving us with a total profit of 129 dollars which again i am not mad about even though the profit margins for this product is not the best we still made money we basically almost doubled the profits from yesterday not yesterday but the day before that which honestly to me still sounds good because we're still making money on literally the third day of running a product now this is where it took a massive turn which it was august 23rd when it was actually my birthday so i wasn't really paying attention on the store as much just because there was a lot going on so i just you know check the ads once in a while just to make sure i'm bumping the budget for the campaigns that are performing and then launching launching new ones and even though i didn't do much that day we had a total revenue of a thousand three hundred and thirty six dollars which is insane and if we come here to the spreadsheet again a thousand three hundred and thirty six dollars in revenue four hundred and twenty two dollars in ad spend four hundred and seventy two dollars in the supplier cost sixty five for shopify fees leaving us with a total profit of three hundred and eighty six dollars which is amazing now following the next day on the 24th we actually had almost the same kind of results so we made a thousand three hundred and seventy five dollars with a three point thirty five conversion rate which was a lot higher than um yesterday's and again it didn't even track all of them average order of a 28 because i was actually testing new offers which is what actually i think we didn't make as much profit on this couple days because i was testing a bunch of price points because people did not want to pay like 30 dollars for this product so i just had to you know change how much i was charging for shipping how much i was charging for the product and that led me to lose a little bit of money just because i was testing a bunch of stuff so if we come to the spreadsheet we had a thousand three hundred and seventy five in revenue four hundred and thirty seven dollars in ad spend four hundred and eighty six in the supplier 65 on i mean 67 on shopify fees leaving us with a 
total profit of $384, which was less than um, the day before, because again, I was testing a bunch of um, different angles. So we lost a lot of money testing. Now, I have to be honest, on day seven of the challenge, um, it's not that I gave up, but I wasn't really feeling anymore. I'm running ads. I wasn't really doing good that day. So we only had $327 in sales, eight orders, 1.19 conversion rate, um, and a $35 average order value. Um, I believe I had only like a couple campaigns published and we had a total of $281 in ad spend, 97 on supplier, 16 on the Shopify fees, leaving us with a total loss of $66, which again, it was not a good way to end the challenge, but you know, that happens. I was just not having a good day, but it is what it is. We still made money with the challenge. That's what I'm happy about. And that day I wasn't just feeling good. So I just spent time with family. Right now I have added up all of our profits and, you know, subtracted the days that we lost and we made a total of $900 dollars and 51 cents and i'm not sure if it's focusing but yeah 900 dollars in literally seven days of testing this product again it's not always like this i basically when i'm testing products there are weeks of testing that i see a lot of potential with the product that i literally lose money all week just because i'm still i'm trying to find my target audience but with this product it literally was a niche that i never thought about selling on but i saw the need for it because again i struggle and i had that same problem so that's why i wanted to test this out i might still run this product to see where it kind of goes because you know even though the profit margins are not good I, I can still make money with this product but yeah guys this is the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and got some value again please comment down anything below because that really helps me grow this channel subscribe and leave a like if you want more content like this and i'll see you guys in the next video